I have in this watch box eight watches, eight micro brand watches that are in my state of the collection, the micro brand edition. <laughs> Look, the reason for this video, let, let me read something for you guys before I show you the watches. It always bums me out when watch reviewers make money telling us micro brands are awesome. Then find out they have a personal collection full of name brands only. Zinn is only just a micro brand. If these watches you review are so good and provide such a value for money, why don't more make into your personal collection? Honestly, Pete, your collection makes me feel like you're not honest in your reviews of micro brands. Now, my response was this. Hi, Sydney. I had nearly 100 watches in my watch box many years ago, consisting of majors, 72 Seikos, Omegas, Tudors, and around six micros. And I found it made me very unhappy. So I decided eight watches in total. So this is it. That said, the watches I review on the channel, I get them in because they interest me. Some are great value, whilst others are by popular demand, and others because I'm asked by micro brands and people who want to see them. You probably noticed my 50k giveaway video. I have been giving away many of these watches every milestone, because I think it's great that others get to enjoy them as well. As for me, I do indeed keep several micro brands which I wear and use weekly. In fact, I'm wearing an RZE right now. I just didn't think people wanted to see micro brands in the state of the collection video, but happy to change that. And here we are. These are the eight watches, and they're an organic eight. In other words, when a watch comes in that I wanna actually experience longer than the one week review, I actually put them in this box and I wear them throughout the year. So even though I limit my state of the collection in eight watches, I do the same with micro brands. As an enthusiast, it's way too difficult. In this hobby, you guys know as well as I do, it's very difficult to stick to a limit of eight watches. I have done so religiously in my major brands. It's been hard because I've wanted to add a lot of watches, but I've been disciplined. But I've also done the same with micro brands. I've kept only eight. So without further ado, let me show you these watches and why. First cab off the rank is this Dorenzo. Now, I think this watch is one of the prettiest micro brand releases I've seen in a long time. The quality is as good as you'd expect. That dial layout and the design is an absolute killer. In fact, I love everything about this watch. I did the review about one and a half years ago and the watch has found a place in the watch box and I wear this watch. As far as I'm concerned, Dorenzo makes some really good watches and this is one of them. Next cab off the rank is this Pitsman 2. Now I reviewed this watch exactly a year ago, January 2023. And if you ever wanted an affordable option to an Omega Aquaterra, this ticks every single box, as far as micro brands are concerned. It literally does everything my Aquaterra does. From power reserve, accuracy, wearability, the loom, the finishing, it's amazing. But as with all micro brands, there's no heritage. There's no long history. So in that department, watches like this, any of these, they can never compete. Well, not yet. They haven't had the time to be established. And just like a lot of the major brands started with ETA movements and parts from a part bin, micro brands in today's generation have got a head start because they've got real quality stuff to source from and great technology. And a watch like this, I believe, is very underrated. This has been an absolute joy. Next watch, this Tosseno. This watch only came in recently. I did the review in July 2023, but it's a fun, vibrant summer watch and I've paired it up with this orange Montreux strap. Extremely comfortable. For me, this is a marriage made in heaven, seriously. And for those who know, I actually let go of my orange Zin 556 to purchase another watch in my major brand watch box. And the very next day, Tosseno actually emailed me and asked me if I was interested in checking out this colorway. I couldn't be more pleased with this watch's cool design. Its vibrancy, its wearability, and its overall finishing. Seriously top marks. Next watch is this Draken. Now, I reviewed this watch over a year and a half ago, and ever since I got this, I reckon it's the most practical travel watch I've ever used. With its 30 atmospheres of water resistance and incredible legibility and loom, this has been a real gem to wear. That Salida SW330 is also bulletproof. I've matched this up with an FKM rubber strap, 22mm lug width, so it's a real joy to use, and that's why it's still in the watch box a year and a half later. Brilliant. The next watch here is only a recent addition to the box. Again, a totally underrated watch. From its incredible wearability and comfort and its quality feel and finish. I only just reviewed this watch around two months ago and decided to add a white one to the box as I feel it's the most practical and versatile colorway. In fact, for those who remember, I had a niche to buy an Omega Seamaster Professional around two years ago, pre-owned. 
And that deal went south really fast. It was a replica watch and it wasn't the real deal. Now, after that incident, I actually never really pursued that watch or that model again, whether new or pre-owned. But getting this as a micro brand alternative, it actually ticks so many of those boxes that the Omega does. And although this has the same water resistance rating at 300 meters, it actually wears so much better than the Omega, coming in at 40 mil and a super comfy tape on that bracelet and the on-the-fly clasp. Pretty impressive. I've only got one word for this watch here, guys. Stealth. I reviewed this watch exactly a year ago and it's still here in the box. Because to be honest, I actually wanted to test out the PVD coating to see if it can last the test of time as well as its incredible wearing experience on the wrist. And once again, this watch has only really let me down in one area only, that bezel. It's still a tad stiff on this piece. It's wonderful to operate. It's precise, accurate, but as you can see, it's pretty stiff. But apart from that, I actually like this watch, its looks. It's PVD, I love the feel of it, I love the look of it, it's so thin on the wrist. So this watch has stayed in the microbrand watch collection for a year now and it's still here. Now I've got a bit to say about this particular watch, or should I say this brand, because I've reviewed a few Nevada watches and some of the brand's complaints from you guys, the viewers, in my comment section has been the amount of time required for the watch to be delivered. And I too have also experienced the same delays. Some of these watches have taken a couple of months to get delivered to me. But also, the second complaint I've heard from you guys is the low level of customer support. And that's some of the stuff that I've heard from your comments recently. And that's a shame because I really like this particular watch and I've bonded with it. In fact, it manages to produce some amazing feelings as different light hits that dial. Now, this hobby is unique to each and every one of us and we experience different emotions and experiences with different brands and models. And I'm only sharing with you guys what I've enjoyed and what I still wear. And this is one of them. Last but not least, this robust and practical RZE Resolute. Now this is the updated 2022 version in green, and I reviewed this model in March last year. Now it's lightweight, it's legible, it's got superb loom, it's got great water resistance, a very strong case with their hardness treatment. So as far as a practical, robust daily, this is ideal. Now, you've probably noticed from the colors and styles in this watch box, it's a lot more fun and a lot more daring as compared to my major brand watch box, which is somewhat become more conservative, I'd say. But I'll share a video on the current state of collection soon. But as of today, I wanted to share this, some micro brands. Again, it's an ever organic box that keeps on changing, so I can limit it to only eight and not getting out of hand. Thanks for watching.